Hey, what's up, fellas? I got to post this video because it was a real head scratcher here. We had a gas valve on this furnace that was not kicking on. When you hooked a voltmeter up to it, it was showing that a 24-volt signal was going to the gas valve. However, if you plugged it in and checked the voltage, the voltage would drop down to like nothing. Okay? If you were to bypass from the 24-volt transformer directly to the gas valve, it, the gas valve would open right up and you could hear gas come out. So I looked all over the internet, scoured the internet for solutions, and people have replaced this gas valve multiple times, and they even replaced the circuit board. And come to find out, it was this dampener valve right here. The ohms on this one was at 2 ohms, and the ohms on this one was at 0.1. So what I did is I swapped them out because the control board will allow you to bypass this one, but you can't bypass this one because it will show dampener valve stuck in, in, stuck in closed position or stuck in open position. This one is not hooked up to the control board diagnostic. So by adding this jumper to the valve, and by taking the good damper valve and moving it over here, this valve was over here. Now I've swapped it around. We are able to get a cold heat. It's freezing cold. We don't have time to wait for a technician. I'm going to press this button and we should get a flame now with this arrangement. We have completely disconnected that one. This one should serve the purpose of both units. So we're good to go. So the blower is now on. We should see the hot surface igniter ignite. And after that hot surface igniter is ignited for about, you know, 30 seconds, there it goes. It gives it 30 seconds to heat up all the way before the gas valve is triggered. Before we were getting nothing and it's freezing cold Everybody's freaking out. I went out and bought a new board, and there we go. We got gas, boys. So, the reason I'm posting this video is because all the technicians on the internet were saying if you get a low voltage when this kicks on, um, with it plugged in, then the control board is damaged. So, sure enough, when you disconnect this, this wire and you check the voltage, you get 24 volts. But if you plug it in and check it, you get a bad voltage and all the tech said that this is the problem um or no they said that the control board is the problem if you see that but as you can see <laughs> 150 dollars later uh we paid 170 bucks for this control board and we needed it in an emergency but uh, at least now i got two i guess because this was the solution now, we already have one damper valve hooked up, so we should be okay. I'm going to order another one of these and get it on the way. Actually, I'm going to order two. I'm going to get those on the way and swap them out. But in the meantime, we can't wait no four days for the technician to get here. And that's what they were saying. They're four days out, and that's just a no-go. So if you experience this problem, you disconnect it, and you get 24-volt signal, but no gas. You plug it in, you get like an 8 volt if even that signal bypassing these two wires directly to this valve triggered the valve on and off which to me indicated the valve was fine but some techs um the homeowner said he tried that and he got it to work but it still wasn't working they had five technicians come out to his house and troubleshoot his furnace and they told him there's nothing we can do for you and all along it was a damper valve so i'm gonna wire this mess back up get some tape on it these right here were just my voltage testers because you cannot test the voltage on this with it hooked up any other way so and i did some other tampering around but that's basically the gist of it this is the damper valve that goes to the um, heat exchange area and the damper valve here that's connected to the blower should serve the purpose of protecting us from a blower shutdown scenario. So I think we're going to be okay. This is not ideal, and um, I don't recommend this, but if you get yourself on a jam, then, man, you got to do what you got to do. We, It was hard enough buying the board because no one will sell you the board. So I just had to share this with you guys because the Internet was not able to help me today. 
So now I have to help the internet. So I actually went and made myself a little jumper here. I'm going to see how this does. It might lock out the system after a minute. Who knows? We'll see what happens. But I'm going to get all this wiring put back together in a safe spot. And I'll give you guys a video of the temperature change. We're at 64 degrees now. I just turned it on. The furnace is running. And we have fire in the hole. And it only took me like six hours. <laughs> so there you go. I hope this saves somebody.